mama told me I should be where. Uh, well, I was working in a public school for five years and um, I was not that happy. I couldn't give to the kids what I really wanted to give. So I uh, quit my job in the school, what was not very, hard, uh, very easy. And I decided to establish an uh, association with my husband and my friend uh, to make something between school and home where the kid can come and uh, do their homework to explain the kids uh, because many of them at that time, that was nine, ten years ago, many of them they didn't have uh, 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 internet access at home and so we did every we we had everything so the kids could do everything in our this association nova Schola, it's the same name i had even uh, as a, a german and italian teacher I had even italian and german lessons and later on eva came and she had english lessons and we did uh, different kinds of workshops uh, different kinds of um, travel, we traveled a lot with the kids so that they can bring the life into the school and it, it came, we didn't plan I, I never thought that I will have a school <laughs> that was not the plan but it came naturally to that point that we said okay I think it's time the major part in Croatia are public schools and we have I think maybe five private schools or six I'm not sure and just three uh, alternative schools, Montessori, Waldorf, and our school, the democratic school. And uh, when we, yeah, we had maybe a little problems with the permission for, for another alternative school, which I think it's normal because you have really to explain what you're doing, what kind of school that is, what kind of, um, yeah, what kind of school that is. and. Uh, but we waited for around five years for, uh, first and then when we get got this uh, permission uh, it took another two years to find the place the building to uh, do all the rest of the papers yeah democratic and uh, free education for us is that to means to involve the kids in making decisions, in creating um, rules in school, to, because we think that that way the kids are uh, taking responsibility in their life and even here in school. And this is something that is uh, very important even later on in, in, in life. For example, we have every Monday, we have a great, uh, a big meeting. Uh, and that inclu includes all the pupils from our school, even the teachers. Uh, we talk about the plans in this this week. We are uh, talking what we are going to do, all the topics that we are talking about. And um, um, the first meeting, for example, last uh, mo last week, it was the first Monday in this school year. Uh, we uh, the kids created the rules in the school what what kind of school they want to have how they want to feel here and that was that is amazing how the kids uh, respond and ask and how they see the world yeah. well uh, we have kids uh, from last year and they were very active uh, in this uh, on this meeting because they had already experience. The first graders now, this year, they were listening. What are we talking about? W what does it mean, uh, a meeting now? What are we... Someone is asking me something. That's new, a new moment for them. Uh, the voting system here is really democratic, so that means that every kid and every, uh, every teacher has a right to vote one teacher one vote one uh, kid one vote and uh, it's very interesting because we raise our hands if we agree or we disagree and um, uh, if someone wants to to tell something or uh, he is raising hands and he is explaining what is his problem because some kids has have some problems and they are telling us and we are resolving then together the problem okay let's make a rule of it uh, disagree agree and yeah really it's it's beautiful to see how they do it uh, we start with the circle morning circle 
the greetings, wishes for the day and the plans for today. Uh, the kids, they get their um, weekly plans to see what they will do this week or this day. And um, later on, um, the kids are with their um, main uh, teacher. Uh, they have a presentation about the new uh, materials uh, the, uh, in different kinds of subjects. And afterwards, they have a sn okay, uh, uh, um, snack. They rest a little bit. And after the snack, they are uh, very often even outside what's very important for uh, for us and um, what are then they have yeah free time when they have the um, let's say files where we are pre very prepared all the materials for uh, the, the students individually because they're very very different and they're doing alone or they can uh, do it with their friend or uh, with the teacher if they want to they can um, uh, choose their own place where they want to do it on uh, at the table or on the floor or wherever they want and which material they want to use so that's this liberty what we give them because it's not just open the book on the page uh, 71 and we are doing now all together the same uh, the same the same thing because the kids are not the same so that's very important and it's uh, great how the kids are they're not comparing to each other because they know uh, I don't know this girl is doing her work I'm doing my work then concentrating on their work at uh, half past 12 they have uh, lunch and after lunch they are um, going to the library with the teacher and they're lying on the floor or on a um, uh, pillow and the teacher is reading a story. What we're doing now, for example, in first grade, they are uh, reading uh, Greece mythology. It's very, very interesting for the kids and different kinds. We, what we are uh, doing is we want to um, uh, we want the kids to love the books and what's very important and sometimes when they have um, we didn't don't have classes or something they don't have to do anything uh, they can just they they're mostly choosing a book and reading or just looking at the pictures um, in the afternoon after that there are uh, different kinds of um, workshops uh, art, um, even music, uh, handcrafts, uh, ceramics, um, even programming, different kinds, or they can play outside, different kinds of, of, uh, of things. We have even a garden, and so they can choose then what they want to do. Uh, the difference is be between this, our school and the other school, we, violence here um, doesn't exist because we are if happens something that a quarrel between the kids we have immediately a meeting we are learning the kids in this meeting to express their uh, feelings uh, in front of other kids and people but it's not easy For especially even our we uh, grown-ups we have problems with it but the kids we are teaching them to, to, to express how they feel even the other kid who did something wrong let's say even he has to to exp to learn how to express why he did it what did he feel at that way and what how did how does it he feel right now seeing this boy crying and feeling bad now in our school we don't have homeworks because uh, first of all the kids are here from 8 until 4 so that means that they do the work here in school and we think that the kids, when they come home, they have to uh, do some sports maybe, or music, or they can walk with the parents in the woods, or just do nothing, just enjoy. <laughs> um, and yeah, we, are, we know exactly what we gave to each child, and we suppose what material the child will use for uh, resolving this problem, this... this um, uh, work 
and that's the way you, I mean at home the kids don't have these materials uh, they don't have us because I know why I gave this uh, to, um, to this kid this problem to resolve and I can help him uh, at home it's the parents mostly the parents are tired or they don't know how to explain or they don't understand why do you have to do this so that we have to do what the curriculum says but uh, the kids our kids have the freedom to do it maybe if if he wants to do it tomorrow or the next day we are, have these uh, weekend plans and the kid can say I, I will do this today tomorrow or on Thursday whatever if the kid is not able to do it in this week it's not a problem if he does it in, in next week but what we we intend to make it very interesting so that because we are the one that are creating this lesson and we have to catch the kid to uh, to come and to do this work and because every kid will do everything whatever you you have if it's interesting it's not no i don't want to uh, learn this I, i'm not interested they don't know it's on us we have to show them uh, that it's uh, interesting nice beautiful to explore and they will do it. We don't have problems with that. It's not the kids w will not do this forever. But I would say, even if that happens in uh, in uh, in the uh, big schools, in uh, in uh, state schools, there's public schools. Uh, kids have to learn every day. They have to do a plenty of things. And we say, okay, they did it. But did they really? Because they they f forgot it even tomorrow or maybe in two weeks. Ready. Yeah, the kids get in our school um, a folder, and every ki each child, and in this folder they have the uh, week weekly p the plan for the week, and all the materials that they have to do for this week. What we are planning that well we plan that they have to do. And this is called a, a small folder, let's say. And in the end, uh, we uh, have a big one. Uh, this is what where we are assembling all the things that the kids did through the year. And this is what they take in the end of the school year home to parents and to have to see what they di did through the year. And even in this uh, small folder, they have even uh, evaluation, self evaluation. Uh, because they have to say, um, um, did I every every day on the end of the of the day they are um, uh, they, they write did I this work or not why not maybe I had some problems okay a teacher can I do this maybe tomorrow with you because I didn't understand this uh, thing or that thing then um, uh, I did something without any problems or I didn't like that one I will do it tomorrow that's, that's uh, well in Croatia it's usual that all the schools have grades from the first class from the first grade and we are uh, we don't have it from the first to the fourth grade we have a uh, formal evaluation that means we are um, well it's a different kind of uh, it's a kind of evaluation which is very very we have a lot of work to do uh, but uh, the kids doesn't know their uh, their um, um, grades and we, th we think it's it's not good for them especially if there's uh, so small kids and in a primary school I would say because uh, they are uh, comp it's it's competition and that's not what education is about uh, they have to learn, they have to be open for new, new knowledge, new experience and not what I s know in the public school, it's just the, the grade is important. Because with these grades you have to be perfect, everything has to be an A. Uh, they are uh, assembling uh, points, I would say, and th with these points they uh, will choose later on the secondary uh, school and the university and I think um, the kids are afraid of the grades 
in the public schools and um, it's a big pressure on the kids from uh, the teacher and even from the parents and from the uh, schoolmates and we we I would be very happy from the fifth grade we have to give them grades but we will do it on a let's say hidden way uh, not oh that's now the for a three or for a four but uh, not not to uh, make pressure on the kids we are a school and we have to teach the kids how to use technology uh, we have uh, iPads, we have smartphones and smart TVs, uh, laptops, but we think that uh, they, we, we can't ignore this. It's w where we live. Uh, and I see even uh, big advantage advantages and um, we are happy to have internet today, to have all those informations and uh, um, beautiful pictures that we can show to the kids and I think it's not it's not forbidden because if you forbid something it's very interesting we say yeah we will use now this or that and uh, take this for example iPad to resolve even math maybe or even in art but it's not um, and they're not so interested in I have to tell uh, they are um, much happier when they can go outside and play with the the classmates, uh, be in the garden and do something in the in the um, garden. So we don't see this as a problem. We c we are controlling it. And uh, some people think that if we are a democratic school, that means anarchy, or the kids are doing whatever they want. Um, as I told even before we have a meeting and we are making rules the kids are making rules and if a kid makes rules um, there's no no way out <laughs> I would say they are controlling if you're doing like we said all together that we are doing we will do um, I heard some people say <laughs> that uh, you're not preparing the kids for the cruel life and I have to say uh, that was, um, I told this mom, I'm very sad to hear that you think that the life is cruel because I'm, uh, uh, that's not my opinion. Um, and I can't imagine to be a, 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 um, a parent who is uh, preparing his own kid to a cruel life. Uh, this is reality. Our school, it's not cruel. It is normal. It's natural. It's for kids. And I, I hope that those, our kids, will see that life depends on them. If you are creating a cruel life, you will have a cruel life. But if you have, if you are creating a beautiful, a happy life, you will have a happy life. And I hope that if, this is the main goal, I would say, for our school, that we are creating people for tomorrow that are happy, that are open, and um, I think only that way we will have a better place here on Earth to live.